All right, so I'm in the midst of heading down to the cemetery. It's a local cemetery here in Franklin. It's right on 4th Avenue. It's kind of separated between two streets. It's been in a couple videos I've already made, and I it's kind of like my to-go-to spot for 4x5, well, for testing things out. And at this moment, this is a little bit of a secret. Lomography is releasing a Instax back for the Graflock, Graflex lock 4x5. So it's basically a 4x5 back for Instax film. Um, I've been shooting with it a lot indoors because it's COVID and can't really get out much, but it's Sunday. From the looks of it, downtown is super dead. So I'm gonna go and try to take some shots at the cemetery with this and bring you along with. It's finally not stupid humid outside. It's only 86. Um, should be a lot of fun. So let's get down there and kick this off. my 4x5 gear with. This is my Ona Union Street bag. I purchased it thinking it was the Prince Street, which is a smaller version, but it's the, it's the big one. I made an oopsie. So I have, I have my Toyo with. This is the, I'll do a better explanation of this, but this is the Instax 4x5 bag. And got some film, got some more film back here. Got the focusing screen that you need for it. So yeah, I'm gonna get the camera all set up and we'll go from there. So for my first shot, I think I'm just gonna shoot this gravestone that kind of goes into the tree. I've shot it a couple times, usually from pretty far away, but this time I'm gonna try to stay close and just focus on the gravestone. Yeah. Cause there's like a cool vine going into the tree. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. This is what I'm talking about. Just so you can see. Uh, silly me, I forgot my dark cloth to cover my head so I can get focus. I'll be able to make it work. Thankfully my Toyo has, uh, as you can see, it has these guys, so it shouldn't be, I mean, you can, you can definitely see it. It's just going to be hard to, to focus properly. So there is the first frame. It looks really, really good. It's a little overexposed, so I'm gonna shoot it again, but I'm like super happy with the composition, but I'm just gonna bring it down, I think two stops. I did another quick shot pointing up the tree. This tree just always reminds me of like an octopus or something. Love it. All right, so I think for my third shot, I'm gonna shoot this cluster of, it's like rocks and a, a gravestone. 
I've gotten some pretty cool black and white shots with the Leica and with some medium format. I think my Pentax 6.7 I shot out here too. Um, but yeah, here, I'll turn it around so you can look at it. So there's, right now, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little sliver of light on it. So I'm gonna try to shoot for the actual highlights. So that's exposed and everything in the background is gonna be kind of dark and ominous. So that's, that's what I'm hoping for. It might take two shots, we'll see. All right, so I just took three more shots of that rock cluster. I got an okay exposure, but while I was sitting here, I had a tick land on my arm, and I have also been getting eaten alive by mosquitoes since I've been out here. So I think I'm going to change location. I'm not exactly sure where I want to go next. I might just go home and maybe come back out once it gets kind of in the golden hour, because the light is still a little harsh right now. So I think I'm gonna pack it up for now. If I stop somewhere else, I'll hit record. If I don't, um, I'll, I'll hit record later tonight when we go out. But in the next like two or three days, I'm really gonna be trying to push this Instax back to the limit because I have to send it out to Chris, which is my co-host of uh, Analog Talk Podcast. We're both testing, in this, testing this out for Lomography. So um, I just wanna get as many shots in as I possibly can and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just a little freaked out. The whole Matt Day tick situation, I think it happened in a cemetery. So, um, so I'm gonna pack it up and we'll continue this in a little bit. Oh no, sponsor me. All right, so as you can see, I didn't go to another location after that shoot at the cemetery. It's actually a couple days after that. I've already sent the instant back to Chris. She's already made portraits and has sent it off to, I think, to Adam Goldberg, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to see what he comes up with. They've already started releasing all kinds of information about this and the pre-order is up. It's at a decent price. So I, I highly suggest, you know, pre-ordering this because I think the price does go up after the pre-order. So it's at, I think it's under 150 bucks. Uh, I could be wrong but I think it's under 150 bucks. I think it's like 139 or 149 or something like that. This instant back is is game changing. I'll, I'll show a couple of photos at the end of this little talking part of what I did capture, kind of doing the still life stuff I've been shooting around my apartment. And I also did a portrait of myself and just a couple other photos. I'll, I'll put those at the end of the video. We'll close it out on that. But super excited for Lomography to release something this badass. Like, way to go, guys. Um, I did a little podcast about this, my daily walk podcast that I that I do. It's probably last week's video um, where I talk about it and kind of my impressions on it and stuff like that. So there is a little more information on that. So click on that video and, you know, if you want to hear a little bit more or some more thoughts on that. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. But I want to thank Lomography for giving me the opportunity to try the instant back out. Thanks for thinking of me, guys. And uh, I can't wait for this thing to be out. You know, I am definitely going to purchase it. I'm definitely going to include it into my repertoire of photography shooting. But um, there's a lot of things coming up here for the channel. Uh, one thing is I did just 
Can we see that? Is there a little bit of a glare? I did just get my test print of my new zine, which is super exciting. I'm not going to give much away here. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there is a couple pictures up on my computer, a spread. Here, I'll show you. This is the spread that I have on my computer right now. But this is, uh, this is a little different than my normal stuff. So I, I'm super excited about it and stay tuned for that. The pre-order is gonna be live next week. So just keep an eye out for that. And for everybody who's reached out already talking about this, like guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to hold this. I, oh man, I love making these. I also have some other fun stuff coming up for the channel too. I recently found my first digital camera and I've actually been shooting with it the past couple days and I'm kind of blown away with the, the quality of these photos. I, uh, I'll have to find my old photos taken with this and show you the difference of like somebody who's actually practicing photography and then somebody who just uses this to basically point and shoot. So that's going to be a fun little video. And I, I just have a bunch of ideas for this. So stay tuned and all that fun stuff. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, enjoy the photos from the instant graph lock. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like the video if you liked it. And there should be like a little notification bell deal, you know, click on that dude. And yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, later.